Hello everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, these are going to be your messages for the month of February 2019. Happy Valentine's Day for those of you who are celebrating. Um, very interesting energies. Majority of the signs, if not everyone that I've done, has um, had a lot of information about how to heal our hearts. And my intention is, as always, and I will repeat this again, my intention is to help you see certain things perhaps that you were not able to see before and to help you perhaps recognize certain thought patterns. My passion is to help you think differently about yourself so that you can align yourself more in terms of abundance. So what a, what a beautiful time to talk about healing our hearts because February, traditionally speaking, is um, considered to be uh, the month of love, at least in North America. So there's a lot of information um, on what might be tripping you up, how you are holding yourself hostage, what makes you stuck in your own inner prison, and what are some of the things that you can do in order to shift and change that in order to uh, attract love, in love, uh, abundance, um, prosperity, health, whatever it may be. So in some of the signs, there were exercises that were um, given to you from spirit. So you might want to listen to the other signs. At the end of the day, keep in mind that we all, we all have attributes of all the signs. So if you're drawn to a certain sign that you're not necessarily one, um, just listen to your intuition and see if there's anything you can gain from there. At the end of the day, my aim is to help and enlighten you in a way that allows you to become much more empowered being. Uh, with that said, if there is anything that doesn't make sense to you um, when you listen to it, do listen to it again down the road. I always say these messages will make sense to high, 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 high majority of you as time goes on. Um, the messages that I that I give or the information that comes through is um, very much relating to uh, everything that we all experience, human condition. So you may be drawn to a different sign that you're not necessarily listening to, but something inside you says, hey, listen to it, you listen to it, and boom, that's your situation. Anyway, thank you so much for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. Um, do let me know how these messages connect with you. I am using a different camera this time, so some of the messages you'll notice I'm switching between two different cameras. The angles are different on my camera, so sometimes I look in different places, and if that's the case, my apologies, I am not used to this um, this new equipment yet, so it may not be as smooth as I want it to, so just bear with me. As time goes on, I will perfect it. Again, thank you so much. I wish you best of luck for, of course, for private sessions. Oh, for private sessions, that information is down below for you. And if you would like to see uh, the longer, predict not predictions, projections for six months, that information is down below for you on Vimeo. Thank you again so much. My name is Joanna the Medium. I wish you a wonderful month of February and let's get going. Hello, beautiful Torians. These are going to be your messages for the month of February 2019. Um, I cannot believe it's already February. Where does the time go? Um, if you see my nose a little bit like Rudolph, it's because I seem to have caught something, a cold of some sort. Um, so don't mind me if I cough or I sound a little bit off. All right, so I'm starting with this sign first because it is also a, a my sign. It's my sun sign. And um, I'm always a little bit nervous. I've mentioned this before because I have trepidations in terms of what I will see. There's an excitement. Um, it, 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 it connects with me. So it's always very interesting when I this when I tune in to spirit. So um, let me just say first and foremost that I the energy I feel is one of excitement, yet at the same time, it's an energy of slight trepidation. And I want to say this trepidation feels like a nervousness about something that I am beginning that is new. Not me, well, perhaps me, but you, uh, if you're a Taurus um, or if you resonate with that message. And I feel this is, for many of you, you have been feeling the uh, 
stagnation can I call it that can I say it that way uh, for quite some time which is a period of perhaps not seeing choices or options or not knowing what choices or options you are after it feels as if many of you us have been held back now the feeling i also get is that we are being or we have been held back for a reason and that reason seems to be for those of you who are listening that you needed to get some things under control emotionally speaking in order to ready you for something in your future and for most of you who hear this this will be by the month of may by the end of may majority of you who listen to this you will understand what this means for you also when i say coming full circle which is what i'm saying now uh, majority of you are coming full circle and i believe you actually have yeah you do have that card uh which represents to me a period of ending and this could be an ending of resistance ending of a certain situation ending of a certain struggle you have um, experienced for quite some time for some of you this is literally you ending us some sort of a religious cycle where you have been um, uh, led to believe certain things and it's almost as if you are detaching yourself from certain beliefs uh, obviously, that's not going to apply to all of you, but it seems to be the case for some of you. Um, let me just move on. Number 17 is being shown to me. What is 17 in in tarot? What is 17 in tarot? Um, is that the sun? Is 17 the sun? That, that tells you guys that I don't know much about tarot cards. I believe... I have to look it up. What is 17? Now, I feel silly. But for those of you who know me, you know I don't read cards. Uh, 17 is the star. Okay, so the number 17 represents renewal, regeneration, re... I want to say the word affirmation, renewal. So what is renewal? Renewal comes after a period of struggle. It is when we let go of what once was and we are beginning to see ourselves and our lives in a different light. That often comes as a result of having having had ha, to having 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 can't speak uh it comes as a result of needing to shift one's perspective so let me just move on to the cards i do feel majority of this message is purely coming from spirit and i just have things to look at that then uh kind of point me into direction of what it is that i need to speak about so as i always say for those of you who are new to me my intention is always to provide you information to help you think to help you go oh okay i've never thought about it that way because the moment you begin to see things differently is the moment your reality shifts so what are we leaving behind yes 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 uh nine of swords in reverse uh, for those of you who read cards you may have one interpretation my message with this card is that many of you who have been struggling who have been sleepless at nights who have been worried about your future or your past for that matter majority of you are leaving that state of your awareness behind what do i mean by that you are choosing to no longer participate in the idea of lack of your thoughts or in your thinking and that will fundamentally shift your future but it requires you to modulate your behavior uh interesting words coming through so look up what modulate means to you to me modulate means um actually what does modulate mean please um tweaking tweaking behavior so we all have behaviors most of our be oh, our behaviors are often reactions so in order for us to change our thoughts thoughts have often corresponding behaviors i see many of you are le leaving uh, your old patterns behind so this is fantastic for me to see most of you are becoming much more empowered individuals as it should be um so that is what you are leaving behind 
sleepless nights that's all i get for some of you you may be dealing uh you may have had some challenges around your health or health of a loved one and you seem to be leaving that behind not because you are walking away but it seems to be resolving itself whether your health situation is being resolved and our health is absolutely um, connected to our beliefs and our thoughts and our conditions. So perhaps for some of you, you've been working really hard on understanding yourself in terms of your thoughts and your patterns. And as you let the old patterns go, you remarkably regain your health. For some of you, it's um, health of a loved one. And it's it's either your the situation is being resolved or somehow you are no longer participating um, you're no longer participating in someone's life who is either really sick or who's constantly feeling down. Now, as I'm hearing this more, I'm beginning to understand that for majority of you, this is about you making a conscious choice in order not to participate in toxic relationships. That is a pattern. And if you have had tendency to participate in toxic relationships for one you always you got something out of it because otherwise you wouldn't participate but you are choosing to no longer vibrate on that level and that means that for some of you you are leaving some things behind uh you are leaving certain people behind you are leaving certain aspects of your life behind because those aspects of your life are of i'm being asked to say low vibrations that could be negative people negative thinking negative beliefs um, your association to uh, negative social media your need to complain your desire to participate in gossip anything of that sort uh, majority of you are leaving this behind for those of you who still like to practice participating in these things there is nothing wrong with it for according to spirit there is no such thing as wrong or right we have morals yes but as far as spirit is concerned there is no such thing however if you are involved in practicing those types of practices you might want to modulate that behavior because it may not be serving you very well. In other words, anytime we connect ourselves with toxic people, toxic relationships, gossiping, negative media, whatever it is, social, whatever it is, we are contributing to something that is of low vibration and that will absolutely affect you. So looks like majority of you are moving on from that. It's almost like you're saying, I'm done with this and you're choosing to move on for some of you this is because you your level of frustration has reached a, a peak where you said i'm not responsible for this anymore i can't do this um so that is a good thing in terms of you leaving this behind now what is um what is happening in february or what could you be expecting interesting Seven of Wands came up and Ace of Cup in Ace of Cups in reverse. So the moment I saw this, I clearly heard um, well I'm hearing it now. Protect yourself and respect yourself. Now, when I say the words protect yourself, I do not feel this is a physical protection. Obviously, for those of you who are in a relate you are in a situation where you need to physically protect yourself you'll know what that means but this is not majority of you in other words i'm not saying that there is something dangerous happening in your life in february quite the opposite um this is more about you protecting your space you protecting your energy so that you do so that you don't seep out your positive vibration and you don't you don't leak out positive vibration and you don't uh, let in negative vibration. For some of you, it is about you learning how to stand your ground, which I do believe this is what the card stands for in a traditional tarot deck. Again, I'm not a tarot reader. Uh, not really. Um, it's also about you needing to prove yourself. And I feel that majority of you, of you who feel that you always have this need to prove yourself, uh, which puts you in a position of 
them versus me, I fear you I feel you are letting that go. You are choosing to no longer look at life in this way and you're choosing to you're choosing to let go of the need to prove yourself. That is what I also feel this Ace of Cups represents to me in reverse. It is to me representing an emotional renewal. Now, if you are leaving this little bad guy behind, and when I say bad guy, it's I'm being funny, then absolutely something will shift in your emotional state or in your emotional body. So it sounds like in January, majority of you who hear this, you either might want to look at how you defend yourself or how you have this need to prove your to prove yourself um and this see if what see what it is about you needing to be approved by others that is so important to you for majority of us that rely on needing to prove ourselves we seem to feel that unless we are approved by others, our, we, we can't feel safe or secure. And that all stems from not feeling safe or secure inside. However, I want to say that majority of you who are hearing this are either working or are no longer being responsible for, other, for how other people feel. Uh, or you are slowly but surely letting go of the idea of you needing to prove yourself to others. Now... We live in a world where feeling um, good about ourselves is important. So the idea isn't to not care what anybody thinks because I care what you guys think of my work in terms that if you find it valuable, then I'll keep doing more of the same. If you tell me that the information that I am being given to give you is not helpful, then I'm going to go to my source and say, hey, what's going on? So... This is what I mean. It's different when we try to prove ourselves to others and our very existence is based on what other people think. Now, this may be you needing to prove yourself in a job, you needing to prove yourself in a relationship, you needing to prove yourself to be confident, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you need to prove yourself to others, there seems to be a shift that is happening. And I'm also being shown... Uh, the month of March and the idea of full moon. So full moon to me represents, um, actually, what does it represent in this in this context? <sighs> Needing to face your fears. We all know what that means. So rejection. Why? Simple. Why do we need to prove ourselves? Because we're afraid of rejection. Most human have it. It's you know, um, when I say it's no big deal, it's. I don't mean it's not a big deal. It is because it can make people feel absolutely frozen inside. But most people experience this on some level, to some degree, at some point in our lives. The idea here is not to be stuck in it or adopt it as the only way of uh, feeling good about ourselves. So I feel many of you are leaving that behind. And to me, it spells victory. It is... Uh, when you begin to feel empowered within and you begin to feel like you no longer need to prove yourself to others, something magnificent happens. Number one, the universe goes, yes, now we can give to you more freely. Um, but also, and most importantly, I feel you let go of a lot of resistance. Now, I released a video in January about resistance. So if you would like to for, um, know more about that, uh, check out that video. Um, I believe it's called How to Deal with Resistance. So that's what might be happening in the month of February. Um, if there's any situation in your life where you are put in a position and you feel like you need to prove yourself, ask yourself, what is so important about me needing to be approved? What am I getting from this? Now, for some of you, this could be you going to um, an interview because you're applying for a new job. In that instance, obviously you want to impress the person who's interviewing you. However, you also want to be fully embracing yourself. In other words, don't try to be somebody else. Um, be yourself. In other words, 
I think I, I'm, I'm not going to explain. You guys know what this means. So that's one situation. Uh, if you are if you are going out on a date, it is February, so we're going to be, uh, you know, many of you will like celebrate Valentine's Days. If you are out dating or if you're going speed dating or if you're chatting with somebody, whatever it is, lose the need to impress. Because the moment you are in a vibration of needing to impress somebody, then you are not truly being yourself. And that stuff will always come out. Number one, you can't keep it up. Number two, why would you feel the need to impress someone unless you felt the way you are now is not good enough? And if that's the case, then you can only sustain that facade, so to speak, for so long. And eventually you're going to get tired of trying to be somebody you're not. So again, it's resistance, right? Um, and here's my nose, my famous nose being itchy when spirit comes in. Lose the need to impress. Again, you know, when you're going for a job interview, of course, talk about your skills, talk about your achievements, talk about who you are, but don't make yourself to be somebody not somebody you're not in order to be liked. Because if you are not that person, then you're not truly being yourself. Now, the idea of hummingbird, hummingbird, hummingbird comes up twice. To me, it's one of the most magnificent birds. I love animals. Many of you who have heard me say this before, I am an animal lover of all animals. Some of them are scary, but I love all animals. The hummingbird to, hummingbird, hummingbird to me is just this magnificent creature. There's something about it that fascinates me. So to me, the hummingbird represents one's expression, one's, um, the message around the hummingbird is, what is your truth? What, where, how do you express your identity? How do you express your truth? What is meaningful to you? Where do you draw sweetness in your life from? Certainly is not, it's not from negative media and it's certainly not from participating in um, practices like, um, um, you know, talking about people and, and, and drama. So I want you to, on your own time, look up the meaning of hummingbird as it comes, as it pertains to animal totem. Um, because that is a message of inspiration to you that's supposed to give you more meaning uh, other than what I have given you. So where are you heading? Eight of, so eight of um, Cups to me represents you leaving, but you leaving stagnation. Whatever has been stagnant and isn't working any longer, you will willingly for the most part choose to leave it behind. Now, this could be old way of doing things, old way of behaving, old way of resisting, an old relationship, an old way of expressing your individuality. Whatever has brought meaning to you in the past but is no longer, you're going to choose you're going to you're going to take your investment and you're going to move on and put that somewhere else. And the reason for it is, so I'm going to continue. So I said, okay, what's going to trip them up? What is potentially tripping them up? You guys, this is amazing. Well, you're coming full circle, which means the potential of you being tripped up is more likely than not the word resistance. Because when we come full circle, it means that the universe is basically saying to us, hey, the way things were, they're going to be no longer. Now, for some of you, I have the pleasure to speaking for too many of you on a regular basis, and I have a lot of Taurus clients. I see this very clearly. Many of you are in transitions. You guys have been in transitions for, for a while. As I am with my work, my work is changing. But when we come to an end of a chapter, if you will, we and that's often when the that's often when the stagnation comes in. When we be, when we come to a point of completion, we begin to feel stagnant because it's almost like the old energy is dissipating and something new is about to transpire, but it's not there yet. Again, 
between the end between the months of March and May, it seems to be very proficient and productive for majority of you. Um, I'm seeing books being written. I am seeing articles being written. I am seeing people doing research. I am seeing people saying, what's important to me right now? Forget what I had. What's important to me right now? What is important to me in the situation that I'm in right now? Is it really as important as I think it is? Or I'm inflating the situation because it's easier for me to stay here than to move on and try something else. So you might potentially get tripped up by feeling this force of resistance. If that is the case, then I would um, invite you to see the video that I mentioned earlier, which is about how to deal with resistance. Now, what is working for you? Again, phenomenal. Um, Golden Palace in reverse to me signifies that you are no longer choosing to be defined by your past. You are beginning to feel sure of yourself and you are no longer relying as much on what other people think or believe about you. Now, when we begin to, when we begin to embody our power, because we've never lost it, we just choose not to experience it or express it. When we finally become, when we be begin to embody our own true power, we begin to realize that what other people think of us truly really does not matter all that much. I mean, of course, who doesn't want to be liked? Who doesn't want to be told, hey, you look nice, you're wonderful. Of course, we all do. It's human nature. But this is more about being too much, too focused on what others think because of some stuff around rejection. So this is what's working for you. You are beginning to feel much more confident in who you are. Um, taming the wind in reverse is another message that comes through. And basically this message says, this is now more about listening than speaking. If you are contemplating changing or shifting your careers, could be side jobs, you might be contemplating ideas such as, how do I give of myself to the world? Not because you have to, but because that's your desire. There's something inside you that says, I want to come out of my shell and I want to be more than I currently am. And this is a time where you will spend, or you, the idea is to spend more time in listening than talking. It's more about understanding others than being understood, um, which is an interesting dynamic. Um, it's a bit of a yin and yang situation going on. But anyway, I'm just going to keep on going. Um, the serpent represents to me, again, coming full circle, emotionally speaking. So this is a symbol that says, your desires and your beliefs, or your desires and your, yeah, your desires are connected to your beliefs. Give me an example, please. If you want a great career, which you currently don't have right now, ask yourself, what could that look like if I had it? Now, when we ask the question, what could it look like? We are kind of sending it over there and we're not really committing to it. So our ego doesn't have the chance to go, <gasps> I can't do this because it's kind of ambiguous. However, what it does, it allows you to go, hmm, let me think about it. Let me, let me imagine what that would be. Again, when we step out of our confinement, when we step out of our box, when we begin to think less of what other people think of us, when we begin to uh, rely more on approving of ourselves and less so uh, looking for approval from others, we begin to shift and expand, which propels us forward. The universe is always going to support you. Um, at the end of the day, the chariot is your guy. And this is movement. 
This is career move for some of you. This is ambition. This is being driven. This is about having a solid footing on something that in the past felt etheric, meaning it wasn't grounded. Perhaps you had some thoughts in the past about what it is that you would like to accomplish. And in a month of um, starting with February, it's going to feel like it's taking more of a physical form. Eventually, you will be moving on to something better. You will be moving on to away from something that no longer serves you. It's not a bad thing. You're coming full circle. It's a good thing, right? It's a good thing. Um, it's important to be focused on what you already have rather than trying to figure out what you will have later or how it's going to happen. Um, I find it, um, how do I say this? One of the things that I teach my clients is when we have visions of things we want to accomplish, one of the things that we get tripped up on is how is it going to happen and when is it going to happen? And we put so much focus and pressure on that fact alone that what we're really doing is we're constantly reminding ourselves we don't have it, which kind of puts us in this space of <gasps> when is it going to happen? It's, it's that... It's that revolving door that kind of keeps us trapped. Again, modulating the behavior comes in. If you are trying to experience something different, whether it be um, new, new career, new job, um, new way of feeling about yourself, um, a new relationship, new uh, attracting new clients, whatever it is, Make sure that you spend more time and focus on the process of how it gets you there versus looking at when is it going to happen, when is it going to happen, and how is it going to happen. Because the truth of the matter is, the universe will always support us in what we need. However, I have found in my personal experience and also through clients that the universe often presents things in a way we haven't thought about before. So when we have a certain strict idea of how things are supposed to look, uh, we, that is that that creates a very rigid window of opportunity. So the universe might be saying to you, for example, okay, well, you want this, this or that, but you got to let go of the restricted idea of what it's supposed to look like and instead rely on the process of what it takes to get you there and we'll take care of the rest trust us, they're saying. So I know a lot of things, a lot of these things will resonate with many people. Uh, for some of you, you simply need to learn how to trust the process of being yourself. And for one, if you are constantly relying on approval of others, then your idea of you is of who you are and your own value is probably not a very healthy one. If that is the case, then you need to focus on creating a healthier idea about you so that the universe can correspondingly give you more of the same. Another way of saying this, another way of saying it is this, focus on the abundance that is within you. If you are healthy, be grateful for that. If you have a great car, be grateful for that. If you have a job that's not ideal, but it pays your bills, be grateful for that. In other words, be grateful for what you have. Doesn't mean you may not want something else. Want it all you want, but don't focus on it. That's the difference. Again, modulating behaviors, not getting stuck in energetic, in frequencies that are negative, which are worries, content complaining, um, being uh, vocal about constantly not feeling good. Now, if you don't feel good all the time, by all means, nobody says you should pretend to feel good. But if you constantly keep reminding yourself of that, it isn't helpful either. Uh, so find ways to make you feel a little bit better about you. And of course, there will be gazillion different people who will have various different things they're dealing with. And 
some of these things that you guys are dealing with are not fun. Uh, none of these things are fun. But I do want to say, and I want you to hear this, your health is also tied to what you believe. And I believe the video that I released in, in January about resistance talks about that. So I feel I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm hearing, we're all here together, helping you achieve what you want. You need to align yourself in terms of your frequency. And that stems from your thinking and your thought pattern. Your thought pattern stems from your belief. You heard me talked about this a gazillion times, um, but it's coming up to the surface. Many of you are coming to an end of a cycle in terms of your emotion, your emotions, what you believe about yourself, how people see you, how people used to see you, how people have rejected you, whatever that is. We all hold those wounds in our bodies, in our cells and in our minds. And from for one, from those that I talk to, for those of you who I talk to, I can see you guys are doing a lot of work on yourself and that ultimately leads to a sense of um sense of procl what's proclamation that's an interesting word sense of elation proclamation i'm gonna have to look that up a sense of renewal remember um where is the card ace of cups to me symbolizes emotional renewal and getting rid of toxic emotions no longer participating or choosing to no longer participating in such, including constant worries. Now, last but not least, I do want to say that if you are struggling with a situation that is clearly worrying you, let's say you have no job and you have no money, uh, it's easy to say, oh yeah, focus on positivity when you have this thing staring at you and it's clearly you don't have what you need. So in those instances, what I would like to say to you, do whatever is necessary to help you gain gain some footing or gain some footing. Yeah, regain some footing um, in a whatever that means in your physical life. I mean, each one has a, each person has a different situation. But what I want to say here is, as you do the necessary things in a physical world, supplement that with things that make that raise your vibration. Listen to positive podcasts. Listen to positive news. Let's look at animals that make you happy and smile. Think of things that you are grateful for. We're not saying pretend what you have that doesn't work doesn't exist, but try your best to put some focus and attention on things that are good. Because what it does, it shifts your vibration. And I believe most of you know this already. And I think that's all I have. I was going to make this a shorter video. I can't seem to do that. So I hope you like this. If you do, please comment below. Um, thank you again so much for allowing me to do this for you. And again, I apologize for being all, being all stuffed up and maybe talking all over the place. I wish you wonderful month of February. If you would like a, a longer projection or a message, there is a six month uh, video uh, on Vimeo down below. Again, thank you so much. I wish you best of luck and uh, happy Valentine's Day for those of you who are celebrating. See you soon.